First of all, they're master craftsmen. They are master artists. They just are. So, I mean, I would cast Lilius as Cinderella. And it would work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. It would work. I could work it. Honey. Yes, you would work it. <laughs> you know. So, uh, it's, it's, um, it's talent. And it's also being able to work with an artist. Some artists are talented, but working with them could prove challenging for one reason or another. Our challenge in this company was to um, to rein in our laughter and <laughs> yeah. and our good time because we we have such a good time together. When when you have a good time together, you can get a lot of great work done. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's what we've accomplished here. I've wanted to do this role for a very long time. And the opportunity almost presented itself, but it wasn't the right time. And so I'm at a point in my life now where I totally understand everything this woman is saying <laughs> and doing. And I'm at a point in my life where I don't bite my tongue very much. Mm. You suppose I have a coca coke. Irvin knows that. I ain't saying nothing without my cocoa. Now, just one minute, here, Ma. You come in an hour late. We are very behind schedule as it is. The band is set up and ready to go. I'm burning my lights. We've turned up the heat. We're ready to make a record. And what? You decide you want a Coca-Cola? Get out of my face. It does take life experiences and moving through life to get the get stuff into your blood and into your bones mm -hmm. to be able to express a certain thing. Um, I always say to younger actors, live your life, mm -hmm. you know, uh, travel, go and see plays, go and see movies, go and visit old people, you know, uh, check out babies. If you don't have a baby, look at somebody's baby. Look at your animals, see how they breathe. Mm. And uh, if you live in New York or you live somewhere where there's a subway system or a bus system, take the sub subway, take the bus, listen to people's conversations. All of these things contribute to your ability as an actor to create a character. You wanna be my man, you got to fetch your picture when you come. Felicia is the kind of director that uh, you want to work with again. You, if she calls, you answer the call. That's right. If it, if it's at all possible, you will be there. You, you will do it. I mean, and uh, and chance to work with Glenn again. I mean, I'm working with Jason on the show. Uh, work, working with him was the only downfall. That was what made me happy. That's what I had to think. Oh no, Key. Oh God. You know phone call about 15 years ago and a friend of mine says Glenn I, I didn't know you were going to play Luke Skywalker in 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 Star Wars I said what the hell are you talking about he said what do you mean what am I talking about you didn't know that I said no what, what, what are you talking about he said well George Lucas just wrote about you in, the, in his book that just came out he said he was going to cast you as Luke Skywalker instead of Harrison Ford. He said, get the book. So I get the book and I read it. And, and George Lucas has it in his book. So we were going to cast Glenn Turman, young actor Glenn Turman, as uh, Luke Skywalker. Uh, in, but we realized that casting a, a black man to play opposite Princess Layla uh, could cause problems. So we didn't want to go down that road. Wow. So Harrison Ford owes me his career. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is no matter what, you continue forward. Nothing is to stop you. You know, if anything, it is only to infuel you.
to, right. to, to refuel your engines, to, to, to make sure that, that your, your cannons are charged with double cracks, you know, yeah. so that you move forward uh, with more vigor and more of a willing to, to overcome and wait for them to catch up. And this play was the first one I was given uh, when I was pretty much in college wow. to read. Wow. This and Fences, wow. you know. So when Felicia called about a year ago, hands down, I said, there's nothing that's going to stop me from doing this play because you don't get to live things like this uh, often, every night. You know, this, this piece is a tour de force, man. It's... <laughs> epic and the camaraderie that I think we all have and the fun we all have on a daily basis just getting together and making music on this show is you know it's worth it to me so it's um yeah I'm glad I'm here I'm gonna give your God a chance I'm gonna give him a chance to save your black ass put that knife up stay out of this that ain't no way it's all Stop it. I'm calling cutlass God understanding your what your value is mm -hmm. as a person and also not just uh, pertaining to this play but all ten of his plays Ruben Santiago Hudson said one thing and I love this quote he said you know if <clears throat> if the world and humanity humans cease to exist and aliens came down to planet earth all they would have to do is dig up all they would have to do is dig up the blues music and August Wilson plays, and they would know everything about African American culture. <laughs> it's such a document of history, mm. you know, and of a people, mm. and they, they know a whole lot about American American culture as well, mm. just from these plays. So that's that's why I said, that's why it will forever be important.